Oh Allah, we are proud and we are happy. We have been blessed with Islam as a way of life. Meaning that as Muslim, we have been blessed because we don't have to look to the east or the west for guidance. We have Islam to guide us. Islam to teach us the do and the don't. Islam that will bring us to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to Jannah. And we said to Allah, O oh Allah, we have been blessed to be the followers of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because he is the last messenger of Allah to all mankind, all nations and tribes. And also we say to Allah, Oh Allah, we are proud that we become his ummah because only the ummah of Prophet Muhammad is been granted by Allah as khaira ummah, the best ummah. The ummah of Noah is not been granted with this title khairu. The ummah of Prophet Abraham, the ummah of Prophet Moses, the ummah of Prophet Jesus was not been given by Allah the title of Khaira Ummah but only to the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam Allah said to us Kuntum Khaira Ummah You, the followers of Prophet Muhammad is the best Ummah Fellow brothers and sisters in Islam the topic that we are going to discuss this morning is about what Allah has said in the Quran. Wama arsalnaka illa rahmatalil alamin. Allah confirm in this ayah, we, Allah, do not send you, O Muhammad, without a reason, without a purpose, but we send you as a rahmah. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ As a mercy, not only for human, not only for the Arabs, but لِلْعَالَمِينَ رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ You remember there is one ayah that all Muslims will recite every day in their prayer. There is Surah Al-Fatiha, Ayat Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen We have been reciting this ayah What is this ayah telling us? What do Allah want us to know about this ayah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to us that when you want to start your prayer when you want to start your communication with Allah you start with Alhamdulillah all praise due to Allah who is Allah? Rabb Allah is the creator the sustainer of what? Alamin what is Alamin? you we is an alam human is an alam jinn is another alam angels is another alam the sky is another alam the earth is another alam water is another alam the moon the sky the moon the sun the star all these are alam when you combine all the galaxies then you call Alamin. That means Allah is the creator for everything. The creator of the universe. And then Allah said, Prophet Muhammad was not sent to a particular nation. And we have never sent you, O Muhammad, except to bring mercy, peace, Love to all mankind and also to the universe. Allah used the same term, Alamin. 
So that is why the prophet, when he called people to Islam, he is not calling the Arabs only. He is not calling the white, but he called everybody. Even the jinn was invited by the prophet to come to Islam. Everybody. And the teaching of prophet, what is the blessing, the rahmah? The rahmah number one. Before Islam, everybody is living just among themselves. Nation among nation, tribe among tribes. They used to fight with each other. There is no peace. Small matter, they fight. They kill each other because of small things. There is no peace. The young do not know how to respect the elders. The elders do not know how to show their love to the young one. The woman is not been respected at all. The woman is been an object for the man to use. There's all, nothing more. They have no right as a wife. They have no right as a mother. That is how the situation before Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam. But Allah subhanahu wa taala sent Muhammad. To bring unity, to unite human hearts with La ilaha illallah, because Allah said, "Is kuntum adaan, fa Allah fa bina kulubikum, fa asbahtum bi nigmatihi ikhwana, wa kuntum ala shafa hufrat min al nar, fa anqazakum minha, kazalika yubayin Allah lakum ayatihi la lakum tahdad." In Surah Imran, Allah said, All of you live like enemies, fighting, quarreling, hating each other. There's no peace among you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent his prophet Muhammad to unite the human hearts. Because our heart is the same, brothers and sisters. There is no black heart, red heart, white heart. All heart is one color. And there's a beauty yeah, when we talk about the heart. Everybody is the same. Alhamdulillah. So Allah said, I send the Prophet that he is here to unite human hearts. Not only the outlook of the people, but he unite the inner part of us. What is the nekmah? The nekmah is Islam. That's why the Islam stands for I shall love all mankind. I as shall all love a all and mankind. Islam. Beautiful word. That means Islam is not only for you and for me. It's for everybody. So when we talk about Islam, we are representing everyone. And the prophet was not sent to talk about the Arabs. He talked about mankind. And he teach us how to respect each other, love each other. There is the rahmah. We know the prophet said, "Laisa minna malam yuwakir kabirana, walam yarham sagirana." You cannot be one of us. If you do not know how to respect the elders among you, and the elders do not know how to love the young among you, this is the beauty of Islam, teaching you about love, not hate, but to love each other. There is a blessing. There is the rahmah that the Prophet, Alhamdulillah, in 23 years of his life. He managed to unite the whole tribe in Mecca. Mecca has 360 tribes. Every idols around the Kaaba representing one tribe, one Kabila. But with Islam, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, everybody become brothers. And Allah said, all of you were living at the age of hellfire. Everybody is this.